If you grew up Chicano, there was one of two movies that were just in sort of constant rotation. One is the um, Selena Quintanilla biopic with Jennifer Lopez, and the other one is Stand and Deliver. The sentiment is, you too can do math. <laughs> I still can't do math. <laughs> So, Stand and Deliver is this 1988 movie starring Edward James Olmos about this teacher who goes into this underprivileged Mexican-American classroom and he teaches them all how to do math, basically. You know the time tables? It sort of feels like the Virgin Mary and that it's always been there. Like, I try to go back to my brain to think, when did I first see stand and deliver. And I think it might have just been my infancy. It might have been playing the moment I was born. Like I would come home and I would get a B plus on my report card or something and my abuela would come be like, Jaime Escalante, mijo. Like, oh, you did good. <laughs> You're standing and delivering. This movie is so pervasive that I also encountered it in school. There's a VHS of it at my abuelo's house. There's a VHS of it at home. It's in my room. The box art for <laughs> Stand and Deliver is insanely good. It's like um, one of the troubled youth's names is Angel, and he's like, was sort of this um, character of sexual awakening for me, because like, as a young closeted person, I thought he was really cute. He's the one who showed up to class first. He was early on the first day. Hey, Kimo, you proud of me? I'm the first dude here. He looked at Jaime Escalante and he was like, what's calculus? What's calculus? I, I remember that because <laughs> I thought that was like the hottest thing anyone had ever said. <laughs> I don't know, it's like really, it's weird. The climax to this whole movie is they have to do this exam and they all pass it with like flying colors. But the board of like, I don't know, like the abstract board of white people, they're like, there's no way that these Mexicans pass that test. We're gonna make them take it again because they cheated. And so then like the second half of the movie is all about them having to prove it over again, which I think is this really cool parallel to the Mexican American experience where it's like, not only are you going to have to succeed, but you're gonna have to succeed again and again and again and again and keep succeeding until it gets through their head that you're worthy and you can do it. And I, I don't know, that part was really inspirational to me. I think that's the part that I take earnestly, very seriously. Then there are parts where like, <laughs> I don't know, he has like a heart attack and it's the funniest scene I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Cause he's so stressed and he cares about math so much. I, in my head, it's like, <laughs> He's in this stairwell. <laughs> and he's by himself. <laughs> anyway, he's trying to like climb these stairs and he's like kind of bent over like this because he's thinking so much about these kids and he just like wants them to succeed so bad. And he like clutches his chest. <laughs> And he like falls over and there's like no one around to like help him. And he helps so many people, but no one can help him when he needs it. <laughs> anyway, he has a heart attack and the kids have to like reflect and they realize how much he means to them and stuff like that. Hi. Um, he's, he's important. <laughs> it's so funny, you have to see it. I want absolutely no one to look at this movie. No, I just like, I think it's like, uh, if you watch it, keep your mind open. There's problematic things in it, whatever, but it, it's still a really important film. You should not touch Stand and Deliver. Like, just leave it alone. Don't make a new one. Don't use a hologram of Edward James Olmos for it. Just let it lie because it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be racist probably in the internet. There's gonna be so many think pieces about why it's wrong and why it missed the mark and why it failed to update, blah, 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 blah. I don't wanna deal with that. Don't do it.